The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Nearly 70 years of quality HVAC tools. What's up guys? Well, as y'all can see, I am back in my truck. You can see the familiar surrounding with the gauges hanging in the back and you know, the familiar cab that you're used to seeing. It is so nice to be back in my truck. You don't realize how much you miss something like your work truck until it's gone from you for over a month. But anyway, I just wanted to do, do just a quick video here and just a, a question. How many of you guys still work on like, you know, old wall furnaces? You know, do y'all still see that? Now, I don't work on floor furnaces. Uh, if somebody's got a floor furnace, uh, yeah, I pretty much, nah, I tell them it's time to move on to Central. But I got a lot of rental property that has the wall furnaces. Uh, and this one that I'm working on right now is a Cozy. That's the brand name. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't worked on one in a while, but I, I usually end up working on a couple in the winter. I didn't work on any last year. I guess it was just that one. Uh, I mean, just, just that chance that I didn't work on one. And I went and picked up a, uh, a pilot generator. Uh, not a, you know, not a thermal couple. I mean, it's like, a, but it's a pilot generator. Uh, you know, this thing actually generates millivolts and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and th this thing was hard to find in town. You know, I had to call a few suppliers and I called, you know, I always start off with my main one that I deal with on a daily basis. They didn't have any, called some other ones, called some other. Well, Baker Distributing, for those of you that have a Baker Distributing, they were the only one that had one and he had one left in stock. And I said, well, I don't know what the chances are of you selling it in the next 10 minutes, but hold it for me and make a ticket on it. Uh, just go ahead and charge it to my account. So uh, I went and got one. So that's just what I was wondering, you know, if uh, any of you guys, do you still work on wall furnaces and stuff like that? You know, there's a lot of companies here that'll turn a customer down. You know, they'll, the customer will call and say, hey, my, my wall furnace is not working. Oh, well, you gotta call somebody else. We don't fool with those. And I mean, that's that's not good. I mean, just because these people don't have central heat doesn't mean that they don't deserve heat too. Now, floor furnaces. The reason I don't work on those is because a lot of times you gotta you know you gotta crawl underneath the house and you gotta get all nasty. And then hell, a lot of times my big ass won't fit underneath a, a, a certain house, and 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 that's fine. I mean, I'll be solving that problem soon. But even after I solve that problem and lose weight, I'm still not gonna go crawl underneath the nasty ass house to go work on a, on a floor furnace. So actually there's nobody here that, that messes with floor furnaces. Uh, all of my competitors, we all talk and stuff and none of them, they said, all of them said, no, nah, we don't fool with them. Uh, but there's a few that work on wall furnaces, you know, and I actually like working on the wall furnaces. You know, you, you gotta lay down on the floor and you know, hopefully you got a clean house where you have to do that. But uh, you know, I really don't have a problem working on them. I'm actually kind of, it's, it's something different. I'm actually kind of enjoying myself right now. It's something different that I haven't done in a while. Hell, I can't remember the last time I changed out a pilot generator. So, uh, you know, so just I just thought I'd throw that out there just to see if any of you guys do it. All right, guys, we got some more videos coming. I know the videos have been slow. That's another reason I want to shoot this video just to update you guys. I know the video uploading has been slow, and I apologize about that, but it's winter time. Don't really have anything too interesting to film right now. It's just basic, the same shit over and over. But we're making up for it with the podcast. Me and Gil Cavey are doing fantastic. Our podcast is booming right now. We are, we are, we, we, we get more downloads every, every week we get more and more. And we, last week, man, you guys were awesome. I mean, we really got a bunch of downloads, a lot in the first day. So you guys are killing it. We appreciate the support on the podcast. Um, but there will be more videos coming. Here on uh, here on the Israel HVAC YouTube channel, and don't forget if you haven't already, subscribe to HVAC After Dark YouTube channel. That's where the giveaways take place. That's where everything podcast related and giveaway related takes place is on HVAC After Dark YouTube channel. So go subscribe to that channel. I'll put a uh, a little a little uh, thing at the end of the video where you can click it to subscribe and. Uh, Thank y'all for watching. Leave comments about working on old stuff with pilot generators, thermocouple, stuff like that. And uh, guys, uh, the minute I find something interesting to film, I will film it and upload it. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.
Meet ZoomLock, the 10-second flame-free refrigerant fitting from Parker. Reduce labor costs by 60% with no brazing, no flame, and no fire spotter. Discover how ZoomLock can help you be more efficient and productive. Visit ZoomLock.com for more information.